everybody. Glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this video. Want to start this video very quickly by saying the new merch is out. My new merch is featuring yours truly. Hopefully you can see him beside me here. Mysterious Dark Boy. I really, really, really wanted to do a merch based on him. Everyone loves him. Everyone talks about him. I even have questions about him today. So I thought I'd do a bit of merch for him. I'm absolutely in love with it. I've gone for, if you want to know what the vibe is here, the vibe is kind of really old horror movie poster-esque vibes. So that's what I've gone with. I really hope you enjoy it. I know I do. Of course, if you don't vibe with this, I do still have my long boy merch, which I will pop a picture of on the screen because I don't have it with me today. Obviously, I'm wearing the new merch. But if you're interested in either of those, the link is in my description and I really hope you enjoy. Right, without further ado, today, as usual, we've got some questions. There's a plant right up my bum. That's not good. The uh, mysterious dark boy has a leaf. Probably can't see down here. And he's just sort of flapping around this region. It's not very good. Right, today we have these. I don't forget through them all because I need to make sure I don't fill up too many trays. Let me just show them to the camera because after this point, you will not see them as well. This here, hopefully you can see these. This is an entire tray of philodendron longilobatum. And they are amazing and they've grown really well and they are so dark by the way. I fed them with my feed, which I have mentioned before. They are so, so dark. It's actually crazy. But, 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 these are TC plugs. They absolutely are for sale on the website. And they have been sat in plug trays the entire time. They're starting to get a bit big. So I'm going to, in no particular order, I'm going to start trying to remove some of these. I will put them probably on the bench in front of me. And then at some point, I'm going to put them into, probably keep them in moss, but put them into a bigger pot. So in a normal size black pot, none of which I have here. Do I have anything with one in? Yeah, I've got some beautiful Congos that are sitting in the same sort of pots. Just these outer normal bog standard black pots. So let's get cracking with it. And I will hit you with my answers to my questions because I have a few and they're kind of all over the place. So obviously one was actually about the merch. So I think I've answered that already. Let's get cracking with one. Oh, we may as well start with the feed. A lot of people are asking me what's going on with shipping. When's it shipping out? Blah, blah, blah. Some people ask me how it's gone. All the rest, if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yes, I do just have these things to hand. This here is my plant feed and oh my goodness, I knew it would get positive reviews mainly because I believe in it and I've worked on it so hard guys, but I actually did not think for one second that y'all would love it this much. And it's really cool because when I released this and I did like the before and after photographs, I compared it against the competitor and stuff like that. I honestly thought, oh my God, people are going to think I'm full of shit, basically. So it's official that I'm not. Thank you very much. I know a few Anthurium lovers are loving this as well. A few people tell me you've tried this on literally everything. Um, did someone say orchids the other day and stuff like that? I wouldn't doubt it wouldn't do well for orchids. That makes a lot of sense to me, actually. Two seconds, guys. I'm going to take this Invisalign out. Ah, is that better? Yeah, I could probably keep the bottom tray in, just take the top tray out. Because honestly, guys, I am struggling with my Invisalign at the minute. That is a question, so we'll get onto that in a bit. But have I literally just dribbled down my face? A little bit, yes, a little bit. There we go. Just want to thank you very much for the feedback on the feed, right? Um, if you're interested in getting this as well, the link to this is on my website, or you can actually find it on Amazon if you are in the UK. We will get to that. Don't worry, I hear you. I hear you screaming at the TV. We will get to that. So let's just go in on all of this. So, wow, this is, these are a bit tall. These are a bit tall, I won't lie, okay. So, the whole um, shipping to other countries thing. Now, I did mention this before, and I know I've had a few hiccups getting it to Amazon and everything else, I, I know this, but I need it to sell well first. I need it to do really well in the UK, because guys, to get it out of the UK due to Brexit is going to cost a lot of money. Um, Amazon do do the odd thing, but I don't think they're that willing to do it for us, because we are probably classed as a dangerous liquid so they did have an eu sort of fulfillment option that i really hoped we would be eligible for but we're not so if we distribute to the eu we would have to send it i do believe to basically an amazon facility in europe and do it that way i think now that's not not doable what i'm saying is that's just going to be a bit of cash so what i really need from you guys <sighs> at least people in the UK, because I know you're enjoying it. Keep buying it. Leave me a review on Amazon, okay? Because that's really going to help me out. I can't do much if my product doesn't have good reviews. And I've seen a lot of you on Facebook raving about it, and I'm so thankful. But if you want to put your review somewhere publicly, Amazon would be the place to do it. 
It really would. That's where I'm gathering all the reviews. I know that some of the shops are stocking it and stuff like that. That's fine. But I really, really, really need the reviews on Amazon to help me springboard this. I'm working as hard as I can to get this product into different countries, but you need to understand it's a big ask financially. The US is the hardest as well, by the way. Really, really difficult. So I need your help with it is, is basically it. So there hasn't been a ton of progression. Again, if you remember last year, Amazon absolutely just took us for a ride ride took us for a ride and just did not help us for about what three months was it it was pretty infuriating i won't lie so that's kind of what needs to be done how big are these plants oh my god but i can't thank you enough for the feedback on the feed i'm i knew i'd get positive comments but i think from bits and pieces i've seen over the last few weeks i think people that don't even like me have bought the feed and say it's really good so if that's not like a an indicator of the quality of this fertilizer, then I don't know what is. So I'm really, really pleased. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for giving it a go because I understand, you know, honestly, guys, I get it. I'm like an influencer on YouTube coming out with a thing, right? It's a bit like skincare, YouTuber coming out with some skincare, right? It's not, do we need it, do we not? Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to add to fertilizer and stuff like that if I didn't think we needed it, but I, I honestly feel like I've come up with something really good. So if you have tried it, uh, you might have to buy it through Amazon to give the review. I don't actually know. I don't actually leave reviews myself on Amazon much, I'll be honest. So I don't know, but your reviews really, really, really help. So thank you so much. If you've had an experience with my feed, obviously feel free to, uh, to leave that down below as well. It just technically doesn't count. <laughs> so what else? So I just need you to know guys that I am working on it. I am really working on it at the minute. I like I have to work on the shop as well. I have to get everything ready for spring and stuff like that. It's part of the reason I'm doing this today. I've done a loads of propagation. I've been working on the oh little baby one, the philodendron SP tropicals that I've mentioned on my Instagram, which where is he at? Because he is somewhere. Where is he? I've got one over here somewhere. Oh, here he is. Might even be the one I photographed. I'm not really sure. It could be. Here, Philodendron SP Tropicals, this bad boy. Hopefully you can see. He will be out at some point. Probably one leaf cuttings, guys, to make it more affordable for you. But you have my assurance publicly as a seller that these things grow very quickly, right? I haven't stopped talking about these for the last, I don't know, two years. They grow really quickly, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, oh, one thing I want to show you. Sorry, I'm like completely scrambled today. One thing I want to show you. Do you remember when I fed that Thai constellation with my feed and I said, hey, I want to try and improve the ratio of this Thai constellation because it's a bit leggy, a bit shit. So I fed it and I'm already pretty happy about it. Now, the last time I showed you this Thai, I think it had a leaf on the way and I said that the leaf looked quite big and it looked like it was going to have a better ratio than a lot of the others. So I want to show you how it's doing just now. Has this hardened off? Not quite. It's not quite hardened off and that's me feeling it through gloves. But I just wanted to show you what's going on with it as it's happening because I feel like what better way. Can you see how the ratio has changed? I really, really hope you can see this. So the old ratio looked a bit like this on this side here, right? Let me just get that there. So we have longer petioles, smaller leaves, everything else. I fed it with my feed. I did it on camera. <laughs> I'm not making it up. I think I did it on a repot whenever I repotted this thing a little while ago, maybe a month. I want to say maybe a month, probably my last repot. And then we have this guy stemming from it and he looks mint. He's got his first fenestrations and he is looking like quite a big boy if I turn him to the side there. How good is that? How good is that? Love that. So that's done really, really, really well. Now, a few people asked me, one second. A few people asked me, well, somebody asked me anyway, <laughs> Uh, what dilution rate are you doing with Lekka? I'm doing four mil to the liter. So whenever I feed, say, I don't know, these trays behind me, hopefully you can see them where I'm tapping. These are all different forms of Monstera, Deliciosa types, uh, for example. I feed them in here the normal way I would with uh, feed that's been mixed in a watering can. I do it that way. And I'm doing four milliliter. So a 10... Um, 10 litre watering can that'll do a few of these trays because I only fill the tray to the bottom. That will have 40 mil in. So this is quite scraggy. So bear, bear that in mind. But for example, I use a little beaker like this. Can you see? I realise this is tatty, guys. I use a little beaker like this and fill that up to 40 and I put it in a watering can. What I do do, and I don't know if a few people have experienced this, and I, I haven't put it on the instructions, but it is something to note. When you use my feed, say for example, you're putting it in a watering can. What I do is I don't put any of the 
the feed in until the watering can's borderline at the top, okay? And that is because my mixture does tend to froth up a little bit, which is really nice and all, but it's not very helpful if you're adding that in at the start and putting, you know, a flow of water on it. It's gonna froth, froth a little bit too much. So what I do is I wait till the watering can's nearly full. Literally, I would love to pick up the watering can, but it's upstairs. The watering can might be an inch off full, so it's got an inch before it gets to 10 litres. So say it's got a litre left, for example. Then I will tip the feed in, then I will um, continue filling it and then it's fine. But that's just how I use it. It might not be the same if you're not running water at a rate of knots. Obviously I am in here, I've got a hose. So just something to note. And I know I've had a little bit of feedback on the smell of that feed as well, because I said in a video a little while ago, do I have some here? Yeah, just wish it was in a smaller tub. Hang on, give it a little shake, because you should shake it. Sometimes I forget, I'll be honest, before I use it, I forget to shake it, but I've never had an adverse effect. Yes, when you smell it, it smells like chocolate milkshake. And no, I'm not making it up. Chocolate milkshake with the tiniest bit of something alcoholic in it. So the tiniest bit of like a liqueur. I promise you, I promise you, I know fertilizers aren't known for being nice smelling, but mine, I will stand by it. It smells incredible. Because I know, I just happen to know, that a lot of competitors absolutely stink. And I'm gonna be totally honest with you, it wasn't my intention to create something that smelled so good. It just ended up smelling really good. So it's not something I've totally designed, but I will brag about it because it smells really nice. Like I would drink that. Obviously I would not drink that. Don't drink that. Do not drink that. But it smells really nice. It reminds me of Christmas because that's normally when I have a little bit of Baileys and stuff like that. Anyway, that was a little bit on my feed. At some point, I have uh, I've snapped a leaf here, guys. I'm I'm pretty annoyed about that. That might keep happening because honestly, these plants are so in amongst each other. It's like I am snapping a lot of the lower leaves off, but I kind of have to, man. Like these have just gone too far. Like that snapped. That snapped. I mean, they will be fine because they look good. But if you look here, like that hasn't snapped, but it, it's not, you know. But it, it will be fine. Honestly, it will be fine. These just need a little bit more space to grow. The smaller ones, I'm actually not picking out yet. I'm trying to get the larger ones for now because they're going to be the ones that obviously need to be planted first. But it's actually very fiddly. I do not like because the only way to pull them out is kind of by force. It doesn't make me feel good. So that one's come out quite nice, look. That's come out really nice. And obviously, as you can see, that's from Plug. Roots are absolutely gorgeous. We're starting to get some shape on the leaves now. And I would show you what a mature one looks like, but I can't get to it because I've moved them. That's really annoying. I'll probably try and insert an image of what they look like mature. But these things are really cool, by the way. Really, really cool. I would borderline call them a long boy. Very, very borderline, very borderline. Not as long as some other long boys, but you're definitely up there, I would say. Or down there. I don't know. I don't know. Right, one second. I'm going to get this one out and then I will look at more cafe stands. Oh, you know what? That just popped out, that one. That is exactly what you want. Right, let me have a look at my phone. Um, Invisalign, still on it. <laughs> still on it, but it's home stretch. I know I keep saying that all the time. There is no other update to give you. I've got a couple of canines that haven't moved and I'm just waiting on that. So we're nearly done. I don't even care anymore. I don't even realize I'm wearing it anymore. It's been a way of life for like three years now. So don't be put off by that. Just get used to it. Just get used to it, honestly. Honestly. So that's not so bad. What else have we got here? A lot of it is feed. So much of it is feed, which I like because it means that you've seen good things. I'm really happy about that. Um, <laughs> when will you restart? When will you recite? When will you recite? When will your site be restocked? Very shortly, within probably a month of this date. So let's say April. So by the end of March, boom, might be restocked. If we're lucky, it might be some point in mid-March. I want to just check on some of these propagations. So maybe it might come out in two waves. So I might do a wave mid to late March, and then obviously there'll be a wave in April. And after that, it should sort of be stocked all the time as normal. Just to answer that one really, really quickly. Uh, wow, I've got so many, so many of you asking about seedlings. That is crazy, guys. Wow, so many. That surprises me. So it's kind of like, do you have any, the, the range in questions, sorry, is kind of like, do you have any seeds to show off? Um, what other seeds are you doing? Someone asked, did, have you tried to cross Mysterious Dark Boy with Delta Force? Oh my God, can you imagine? The answer is no to that because they're never flowering at the same time. He has one on its way out. There is Delta Force there, but it's too far ahead of that one. So we're going to miss it. Um, cause I have my big Delta Force down there that is not flowering at the moment. Very surprisingly, it's nearly always flowering. I have a young one here that is flowering and it's all juicy. 
Let me get him out right here. He's soft a little bit from winter, obviously, but he is flowering here. Um, so I do have the odd thing firing, but the thing is, guys, you've just got to have stuff going at the same time. And if you don't, then you don't. So I have things in the shop but I don't exactly know what. And if I'm honest, Ben is more on track with this than I am. Like, what's that? I've got Clarinervium by Delta Force, which obviously isn't that productive, but at the end of the day, it's what was flowering. <laughs> so I'm not going to waste pollen, if you know what I mean. I have that Lecunera, whatever you call it, with... Um, Delta Force, which I have shown you. What else? What's this one? Or is it just a random one? Uh, oh, that's just a Fairchild one. Uh, where are the other seeds? I've got a few things in here. What are these? What are these? Delta by Delta I've got. Um, and I've got No ID by Delta. And it says possibly Macrolobium. And then I've got Paldiflorum narrow there. So I've got stuff. Best way of describing it, guys. Technical terms. I've got stuff. Nearly all of it is a cross with Delta, though. Nearly all of it, because that just seems to be the thing that's really given off pollen. Like, I don't know how it's managed to be... Um, do I want to say exclusive for so long? Because it, it does sort of, you know, it's, it's quite active. So that'll be the heater. So we're back to shouting. So anyway, apologies for the said shouting. Yeah, so I've got a few hybrids coming along, but at the end of the day, guys, I will just smush together whatever's kind of at the shop. I've got some flowers upstairs, actually, that have been worked on, and I've got some seeds growing on something, and I can't remember. <gasps> no! I've just snapped one. That's so annoying. That will actually grow, but that's really annoying. I can't remember what it is that's growing upstairs. I'm not sure. I need to check these things, I think. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to do? You know what? I'm going to put these small ones back in. Oh, God. Because I just think that's the best way. So I'll put them here. Genuinely just trying to get some of these bigger ones. Even if I only get literally, like, say, 23 of them. Because they should fill up a normal tray of these with a bigger pot in it. Roughly, anyway. Could fit more in, but I know I'll definitely get 23. So that's definitely what I'm after. So, oh God, this is so delicate. So delicate. So yeah, people ask me about seeds. That's really the tea. I will cross what I can and I will let you know if something interesting happens. Um, obviously, because they're F1 hybrids, they would be very variable anyway. But we shall see. I'm not one to waste a bit of seed going on, a bit of pollen going on, guys. But, it, you know, I'm sure you guys, one or two of you have been doing it at home. You know what it's like. You, just stuff has to be happening at the right time. We've tried freezing pollen. Because um, a lot of people say to do that. I don't think we've had the best luck with it. I'm not really sure. I definitely get more flowers on my plants now that I feed them with my feed. So that helps, especially Anthurium. I mean, nearly everything flowers, if I'm honest, but Anthurium, like, really love this feed. Really love this feed. Um, as well as my crawlers. My crawlers are looking pretty big right now. What am I going to do about all these? Hang on, guys. Let me get another question, because there's so many people asking specifically about Anthurium. It's very curious. I don't know why you're doing that. What has happened? What has occurred? Or is this the Anthurium boom that I said that I refused to acknowledge was happening, and now it's happening, and this is why you're asking me? I don't know. I really don't know. Have you noticed anything physically distinct about TC Spiritus versus non-TC? No, I don't think so. Even the redness. Let me have a look. Sorry, my spiritus is here and you won't see it. Let me just gander at it. That's one there. There's a TC one over here that's grown a bit meatier that I've had for a long time. Uh, you know what? I can't see any bloody difference. And this is the thing, guys. I've said this a million times. Get a good mother. Generally, it's fine. I know fine well where this stupid TC rumor came from. It came from like one YouTube video years ago where somebody claimed they had Raphidophora tetrasperma that was TC and it was crap. And for some reason, some reason, guys, everybody on the internet extrapolated that to all TC plants are crap compared to the originals. I don't get it. I really don't get it. That is not the case. Can it be the case? Yes, of course, of course. Is it always the case? No. For example, guys, you gotta remember, things like Monstera Thai Constellation, right? Not the Creme Brulee, not the 1.0, 2.0, none of that. The Thai Constellation itself was made from TC. The whole plant, it was one mutant, I think, that came out of a batch of probably large form. I don't know why they were growing large form bit weird large one tends not to be grown but whatever it was a mutant from that that was tissue cultured and reproduced 
and now you all have Thai constellation. Now, yes, there are batch differences between Thai 1.0 and 2.0, as I've said, but it doesn't mean to say that TC something is always weak. In the case of the Thai, the old ones are stronger, but I honestly think a lot of the new ones, because I think we do have a 3.0 now, I'm sure somebody said that, and I totally believe you. Um, I think we had the bad 2.0s and it was a result of COVID and I think production went right up and it obviously production couldn't meet demand and I think shortcuts were taken and I think not enough mothers were used and stuff like that. But when you think about it, ultimately, the mother is going to be one plant, right? It's kind of like Anthurium Delta Force. I'm not on about TC or anything, I'm on about any, anything. Because there is one Delta Force, one true Delta Force plant in existence, everything else is taken from that plant. You see what I'm saying? Technically, if you cross Delta Force with Delta Force, like I have seen in there it's it's not delta force you know what i mean it's delta force and delta force it's technically not the same which is a bit silly but so and i, and then I know that's not what you're asking i know that's not what you're asking trust me i'm not thinking that you're like coming for tc or anything i know what you're asking it's just it confuses me that people still ask sometimes because i honestly the way i see it guys if there's a problem with a tc version of a plant right you're going to know about it very quickly on the internet I, honestly you won't have to look hard it'll hit it'll hit the the gossip the news whatever especially in this sort of day and age where people have less to talk about right say you had uh spiritus or i don't know i'm trying to think of a plan because i'm trying to not use the obvious you know plants the um this guy here hang on let me just get him for you this guy this wonderful wonderful boy this is um squammy cold blood philodendron squammy cold blood really nice love it all about it so you had a tc one of those if it was really terrible i think you just find out honestly you just find out i don't think people need to do like a ton of investigating or stuff like that personally i think it will come to light these things usually do because the internet's pretty pretty what's the word pretty attentive i would say with this sort of stuff so try not to worry too much guys honestly i think the internet i know there's some dishonest people on the internet oh thank god i don't want to keep shouting i know there's some dishonest people on the internet here and there but the internet as a collective is usually quite honest you see what i'm saying so i think if something's wrong with something then you find out about it um not in all cases i think you have to have experience with stuff and i understand that why be, that's why you may be asking me um for example tie 1.0 2.0 blah 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 i've put that on the internet as like hey has anyone noticed this because i have and i think it's a thing and then obviously other people are like yeah actually yeah um but if you'd never had Thai 1.0, you wouldn't know that. In the case of Spiritus, I don't think it's had the same journey anyway. I think generally it's it's come from the one plant and the mothers have been used appropriately because honestly, the, the Spiritus are about as tough as these. I think they need more food, but they're tough enough. I've got a couple of Spiritus that've got the same deal going on. They're really big and I can't pull them out. I've got sort of half a tray there of them. But it's much of a muchness, guys, honestly. I, it, it, honestly, I'm not just saying this. It is with a lot of different plants. Oh, hang on. I think Ben has arrived. Sorry for the interlude there, guys. I had someone walk in. I was not expecting them. So, I don't even know where my train of thought was. Five minutes has passed since that random jump cut there. Um, I think I was talking about TC and stuff, but I'd kind of finished my subject, really. So, one moment. Let me just have a look and see whatever else there is. So many Anthurium questions here, guys. I'm actually I'm actually amazed how many people are asking about generally Anthurium. That's kind of insane. Literally, someone's asking me if I plan on jumping on the Anthurium hype train. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Actually, do I have some wishlist anthuriums that are coming up because my wishlist is coming up soon i think i do but spoiler alert it might only be like two of them so i guess the answer to that is no i suppose um pony update why not why not okay let's do a little bit of pony update for those that care so it actually wasn't uh that long ago i moved my pony to a new livery and i, I think i did mention why i was doing that but i will i will let you know nothing against my old livery um i just think that it got to the point where it just wasn't appropriate for my pony anymore um oh dear oh dear oh dear because sorry guys i've just got myself tangled again oh. because um he struggles to hack so i think in america is what's that like trek trail riding can't remember the word for it is today because I'm, I'm all over the place today um but anyway he struggles with that because he struggles with traffic and stuff so i've actually moved him to a very wonderful livery that is so close to me it's about a third of the time to get there and it's got off-road hacking so i have moved him and what i hope to do is when the weather gets a little bit better i hope to assume some more gopro hacking footage with him 
Now, I know a couple of people have been asking, can you give me the channel for him? Because my pony and I have a YouTube channel. I just, I don't really have subscribers on it. I've just sort of been uploading as more of like a, how do you put it? Like more of like a diary entry type vibe. So it's very low key. It's not like a, your typical equestrian channel that you'd watch or anything like that. It's literally just POV hacking videos, essentially. So I've been doing a bit of that. And the hacking is very boring because I could only go around a local village. So it's not something that I've ever bothered to give out. Um, but you will get it. I just think I should probably get a couple of nicer videos out, maybe. Just some local hacking um, in the new livery. But of course, I need the weather to be a little bit better. But we are getting into a bit of a better season now, which is lovely. Right, I might leave it like that. I've got so much raggediness in here. Some of these are nice, so let's get like maybe two more of these. But ultimately, he's doing well, you know, and I actually think he's a little bit, dare I say, happier where he now is. I think, I think it's done him a lot of good, to be honest. Oh, I'm not going to pull it out. It's connected to like three different ones. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good, is it? Let's just put that down so we can work on the other stuff. So it's looking a bit raggedy now. I don't know if you can see it. And actually, I haven't pulled out that many. Let me put him back up here. I haven't pulled out as many as I was going to just because some of them are a bit pathetic. And let's just get these in and then let's see how we do with these. This one's going to go in water because I snapped it. Lovely, lovely. But we will check the rest of them. And hopefully they're all sort of similar, but they're really quite uh, fragile. Although I'd say that some of it is probably my heavy hand because I'm a bit rough with plants sometimes. Three, four, five. Don't know if you can see this. Maybe six. Ooh, big boy. Very big boy. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll go with it, guys. We'll go with it. Right, okay. So I'm just going to move these. I'm going to get some moss, which I think I have. I might just need to wet it. And we will get some pots to pot up in. I like to leave moss in a bucket. I let it completely dry out. Otherwise, you end up with gnats living it in it. But the, you kind of can't if it's bone dry. So pro tip, you're going to store moss. You need to keep it moist in a bag. Just, just let it be. I do, personally. It just works for me best. Just works for me best. Right. So yeah, my pony. I believe is is already a lot happier than what he was. Um, I've had him on a, a couple of hacks with the livery uh, manager and I've had him on a few by myself. And the route that I've gone on by myself is genuinely just like... Um, a really quick sort of 20 minute route type vibe. And he's been all right, he's a bit dramatic. You can tell sometimes he's uh, he's on his merry way and he's sort of slowing down and looking back. And I thought, you dare, you dare do this to me because there's nothing wrong this time. Because he's got a bit lazy, obviously, because I haven't been able to do much with him at the other livery. So he's being a little bit lazy. So hopefully he doesn't try his luck because we're going to have to have a little argument if he does. But I'm sure he'll be fine. I could have put a lot moss in there, you know. Could have, as in I think I might have. Now, the problem I've got here is these are quite... <sighs> I almost need to get like a, I don't know, like a steak to put in them, right? Because it's a bit ridiculous. What if I just take some of these and then I just snap them maybe? As silly as it is, I think I have to. So if I've got one down here... Let's do this. I don't know. I mean, what would you do if you me, guys? You've got to improvise, haven't you? Like that, kind of, just to keep it sort of present, you know? So basically, they're all going to be potted like this. Does it look tidy? No, not at all. Is anyone going to see it? No, not at all. So that's what we're doing. So yeah, my pony is... Uh, in my opinion, he's a lot happier. And honestly, this summer, I, I will show you the channel and stuff. Why not? Why not? If people are interested. Um, I just haven't revealed him. I don't know if I want to do like an official reveal. It seemed quite a lot for a pony, I suppose. But... Oh, cat updates as well. So we'll get to that and driving. Okay, so cat update. My cats are great. So Teddy, wee, wee boy, piss boy, um, he still likes to wee on things. I thought I'd stopped it. I thought I'd stopped it. It has not stopped. Now, he's been neutered for six months now, literally. So this is him, I've discovered. So I don't really know now what I can realistically... Oh, I don't feel good. I know this is very ugly, but it's fine. I don't really realistically know what I can do about it. Um, I feel like I just have to try and keep getting rid of the smell. He likes to wee on my doormat a lot. And I, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but it's like a coir doormat. And apparently a lot of cats have issues with that because they really like the texture 
Um, I'm done with literary options, guys. I'm absolutely done with it. I won't do it anymore because if you can think of a solution literary-wise, I've tried it. It doesn't work. It Honestly, it's not even that. And I know Teddy knows it's wrong because when I catch him going on the doormat where he shouldn't, all I do is walk up to him. He runs past me and he goes straight in his literary because he knows where he's supposed to go. So there's not a lot I can do about it. I do have a little robot. And to, you know what? To a large extent, the little robot, one, totally recommend them. Two, if you don't know what they are, look them up. Seriously, change your life. It's actually helpful helped a lot because there's not really a smell from Billy left behind in the litter tray. So after, you know, after Billy's gone to the toilet, for example, it'll wait a few minutes and it'll sort of like whiz around or whatever, and it'll take the smell away because it gets rid of the poop. So it's actually worked quite well having it rather than not having it. So if you do have some issues with cats like that, I would recommend you trying it. Is it expensive? Yes, but so are plants. <laughs> and I'd like to think that a reasonable amount anyway of people who watch this channel probably would deem it not to be an insane purchase. I would hope on my part just because I really want to fix the problem I really want to fix the problem um, so the litter is kept like the cleanest you could possibly keep litter even when I'm not in the house what more can you want do you know what I mean it's got to be done guys it's just got to be done but apart from the weeing thing honestly I would say they're doing absolutely great like they love each other I switched their diet did I tell you this maybe I did not tell you this I switched their diet a little while ago to Blink which is like a subscription based cat food now I don't think you can get it in the US. I might be wrong. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a British thing. But I switched them over to Blink. I started them on Untamed, if anybody's in the UK and you know of these brands. I started them on Untamed, but it, it very quickly became obvious that in terms of like complete a complete meal, like nutrition wise, they only had about three flavors. And my cats were bored very quickly. So that's my sort of criticism of Untamed. Personally, I don't think there's enough flavors at all if you're just going to feed your cats on on sort of wet food. So that was something that I wanted to change. So I moved them onto Blink. And honestly, I'm very happy with Blink. It's borderline the same price. It's maybe slightly more. But the the sheer amount that of like... Um, Sorry, what's 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 the word I'm looking for? The variety you can get is very decent. So I'm actually really happy about that. And I think that's served me really, really well. So I'm happy that I've switched. But I do think I might do an update video for you. I don't take as many videos of them, actually. Like, I know I do on Instagram of, like, them just sitting on me. But I think people have probably got the impression that they do nothing. And to be fair, they kind of do. But I don't have many cool videos of them playing and stuff. Because um, if anything, I've got busier. So I'm not homeless as well. But I think I might do an update video at some point i don't know when that's going to be but i think it could be nice for you to see them because they're so big and fat they're so big and fat honestly such big fat chunky boys um i was gonna get another cat actually at the start of this year and i, I know a couple of you caught it on instagram um but it wasn't to be put it that way nothing wrong with the cat it was more me and my financials um and it turns out i just couldn't afford another cat and you have to do right guys by the animals you've already got you can't be selfish in these situations Situations. So I ended up not getting the other cat, which is very sad because bless my heart, I'd named him and everything. So I was a little bit sad about that. I wish I had some to cut these properly, but I actually don't. So I know everyone's probably going, cut it with something. Nothing's going to cut this, literally. And honestly, nobody's going to see this. It's literally fine. I'm not exactly getting sold like this. So we're all right, guys. Don't you worry about it. Pop that there. It just has to sort of lean on it to be all right, really. Not looking for a miracle. Maybe I put two in that and just sort of hope that it stays there because to be fair that's one of the, the big boys isn't it but yeah guys they're doing fine they're doing fine they're one now so they're big chunky boys big big chunky boys got all of them a couple of people are asking about the wish list video by the way it i know i mentioned it before that's absolutely coming i think because a lot of you said oh put like the common plants that you want in as well my wish list wasn't prepared for that so when i asked you what you prefer and everyone said oh put the you know put the common ones and the rare ones in that's fine uh, but i hadn't prepared for that my wish list was just a rare plant wish list and it only had about six to eight plants on it but they were rare plants so i need a little bit of extra time to work out what i would like to have and i've been very busy so that is the only reason that it is delayed hopefully i would say this hopefully next week you should have i'm really really hopeful that that is occurring how floppy are these i promise you it's not because they're unhealthy guys it's just the way that they've grown and they've almost had to grow less strong because of semi being like propped up on each other in that big tree so i don't doubt that they won't you know 
build up more of a stature. But it should be all right. Oh, I'm knocking everything over. Right, I'm going to actually fast forward through these because I don't think I've got a ton more topics to talk about today. So I'll just fast forward through the production of these because I know Ben's going to be coming in soon. It's going to get noisy. So I've run out of time. He's coming early. Not good. Um, so I will do my best, guys. So I'm going to just mortar through the potting of these. last one guys and you know what it's kind of a really good thing that i only picked out these this many from the tray because i've borderline ran out of moss now i have more moss that is dried and sort of like pre-packaged like that stuff you get from amazon but i wasn't planning on preparing it anyway so it's actually a really good thing that i've not done any more than this and i'm actually going to run a slight experiment now the one that i've snapped that's kind of on the side of the thingy-majig there the side of the table i'm actually probably going to try and put it in moss and see if it dies now, I know it has an aerial, so mm, touch and go. Don't get me wrong. But let's just see what happens, because I'm not being funny. I've got enough for them. Do you know what I mean? It will be fine. I'm not worried at all. So I might try and do that. All of these, I'm actually going to tie a little bit of string round. I'll do it off camera when I've finished, but I'm going to be doing that. So we will quickly put this in. And I will say goodbye as I'm doing it, because it is the last plant of the day. Apologies for seeming a bit rushed towards the end. Genuinely, it's just because Ben's here and there's work that's got to be done for Amazon. So we got to do it. we got to do it. It, guys but thank you very much for watching this lovely little repot i'll let you know how these do at some point i will come back and do a few more of them it's just it's probably not gonna happen yet i have to kind of get enough of every little bit of stock ready for the shop if you know what i mean to stock it with so i don't necessarily do all of every plant i'll do some and i'll do it in batches so we'll see how these do they're obviously rather large so when i sell some of the tc stuff um on the site they'll we they will match the size that's sort of this on the side these are a bit big and we'll get these looking a bit sexier than what they are because they're fine they're just a bit all over the place so they need a little bit of space to grow but thank you very much for watching today's video guys i will love you and leave you merch again i will try and stand in front of the camera it might cut me off it has significantly but my merch is in the description i really hope you enjoy it i absolutely love it looks sick tucked into jeans i wear either smalls like this tucked into jeans i wear them to the gym or i actually wear the really extra large ones in bed as like a, a night sort of thing so they're cute for a few different vibes they have on the website there is like so many different sizes it's crazy i think i have sweatshirts hoodies everything else and i would show you them but i don't wear them in the shop because it's too warm in here so anyway i'll come down to the right level there we go thank you very much for watching this video guys i will love you and leave you and i will see you next week bye